Open Forest Arena is a new cloud platform for flexible data management, utilization, and processing. Here we show the main features of Arena. The user first has to log into the system. Arena offers a dashboard for managing your surveys. A survey is a schema in Arena's database management system. The survey can contain several properties, such as name, label, survey languages, spatial reference system for map data, and inventory cycle. The left side panel contains all the available tools. Let's first take a look at the form designer. The form designer is the main tool for building a new survey. It offers simple methods for adding new pages, entities, and attributes for data entry. A survey can contain multiple subpages in order to separate the survey into logical elements. The input elements can be located easily in the form and resized as needed. Forms can also contain tables, as shown here. Let's first reorganize the item on this form. Each data attribute contains multiple properties. Here we see some advanced features, such as the required checkbox. And then in the validation section, Arena opens a screen with an expression editor. The expression editor is an easy to use tool to add and modify logical rules that are needed to carry out data checks in order to guarantee better quality data. Okay, let's jump back and quickly reorganize the items in this page. And we go to preview the survey. And in the preview mode, we can test the data entry forms. For example, we can test that values can be correctly inputted and that all validation rules work as expected. Once all the issues in the survey are fixed and the survey is ready to be used, it needs to be published. This process requires running several steps in order to guarantee the correctness and consistency of the data entered to the survey. Here I will cancel the process and jump forwards. Let's take a look at survey hierarchy. In this section, we can view a tree diagram that displays the hierarchical structure of the data. The diagram can also be expanded and we see all entities and data attributes that are stored in the database. Next, the categories view offers tools for management of categorical information. Categories are coded lists that can be used with coded variables, such as land use or administrative units. The taxonomies view is for adding species lists into Arena. Here we have a list of bamboo species in this survey. The list can be imported and exported from external files. Okay. Let's next see how the data entry view looks in Arena. Here we have a list of all inputted records and we open one. Arena opens up the last published survey. Here we can view and edit the data. And for example, in this forest inventory data, we can find sample plot data of the selected cluster. This data is now locked, but can be opened and edited again as needed. So let's move back and see the next feature, Data Explorer. Data Explorer is a query tool for viewing the data in tabular format. Here we can view both inputted data and computed result variables. Let's see how this tool works. We can filter the data by various types and pick up and add attributes to the table. So we can scroll and browse through the data. The data can be viewed in multiple ways. It can be easily filtered. So let's make a logical rule and show only the trees with diameter greater or equal to 30 centimeters in the data explorer. Here they are. Next, we sort this data by ascending order. And browse through the records. However, let's take off the rule by resetting the filtering rule. So the Data Explorer is a handy tool to view the selected subset of the data. But when all data are needed, it can, they can be exported and then downloaded by a user who has the right to do so. Here we have a tool to generate a validation report to get a list of erroneous data. And the data processing part is under chains. 
In this view, we control the calculation change in the survey and we open a chain and go to the view, the ready-made calculation scripts for trees. Now I add a numeric result variable for trees and add a new variable to compute the below ground biomass of a tree. First, it needs a name, label, and other properties. The calculation scripts can be viewed here and the variable can be set inactive or back to active. For doing the final editing of the scripts, they all need to be processed in RStudio. First, the survey needs to be published again, and then we start RStudio by clicking this button. This takes a moment. And we copy these commands, then click OK, and we get access to RStudio. Our studio is used to finalize the data processing scripts, test, and run them. So as we can see, this requires some expert knowledge, but the scripts need to be written probably only once for a survey. However, to make this easier, FAO experts are working to add templates with common scripts into this platform. The user management is the final feature to show. It is the tool for administrators to manage the users. The content of this view depends on the user's access role.